So two kilometer north and two kilometer south of the military demarcation line is DMZ, demilitarized zone. So DMZ is the buffer zone in order to prevent the conflict between both sides. So we are not uh, allowed to carry heavy weapon, weapons here. Only guards who are on duty are allowed to take pistols or single shot weapons. But U.S. from long time ago turned the demilitarized zone of their side into complete arms zone. We'll see this map. Railway linking Pyongyang and Seoul. This is the Kaesong, uh, Panmunjeom-ri side, Kaesong city, the village with inside the DMZ area of our side. So about 240 families are engaged in farming there. So this is the building where we had armistice talks with U.S. side during the Korean War. And this is the building where we signed the armistice agreement. So this yellow dotted oval area is Panmunjom Joint Security Area. So inside the Joint Security Area, the military demarcation line crosses these seven buildings. This is the monument to our President Kim Il-sung's autograph. This is Panmun Pavilion on our side. And this is Tongyil House where we convene meetings between our side and uh, south side. So white posts are our army men's posts. And the blue and the blue ones are U.S. post. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Panmunjom is the most tense area in the world where war and peace conference most sharply. So, from here for your security, uh, guardsmen will accompany you. So, I will give you more detailed explanation on the way. Can we go outside now? It's a neutral zone. This zone was made to protect armed conflict between two sides. So, so that's why, you know, as mentioned, you know, it's not allowed to have automatic weapons and heavy weapons. Only the guards, you know, they were allowed to have pistols, you know, for their safety. But you know, after you know, in April last year, we had summit talks and meeting, you know, and then after that, you know, the both sides, they, they. They decided. They came to a conclusion that we need, we have to make this area as a peaceful zone. So, so from that time, you know, after that meeting, you know, the the military guard here, they removed their pistol from their waist. It's a good sign. And then, you know, as you see on both sides, we have farm fields. So, on the on the right hand side, there's a there's a flag pole. And uh, there's our, our North Korean flag. So under the flagpole, you know, there's a village. So 240 families you know, are living in this area and they are doing farming. So uh, we can take photos here, we will look uh, around the photo. And this is kind of the what against the agreement concluded by the two sides. And this kind of act should be uh, arranged beforehand. So our side who uh, our, so our two soldiers who were on the guard asked those to stop that. But they responded with the fighting. So they threw the axe to, uh, towards our soldier and uh, they were uh, what, fighting, broken out. So and, and uh, in this fighting, yeah, more than 10 soldiers were wounded and two yeah, soldiers died. Yeah. So after that, yeah, we proposed to divide, in, divide this area in two to avoid another armed conflict.
So now this is this area was controlled by two sides. That's right. And this is the demarcation line, and this demarcation line crosses seven areas. Yeah. So yeah, our next destination is this geo security area. Mm -hmm. And this X is Austria, Austrian made X. X. Austrian. Yeah. Oh, Anyone who's from is from. Oh, maybe that's my phone. Yeah, maybe. Um, I think I had them to be like that. Oh. Make it like. What do they do? They hold it. Oh. 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 We left the autograph of our president Kim Il Sung. Yeah, on the monument. Kim Il Sung, 1994 7 7 7 7 The monument says Kim Il Sung, 1994, July the 7th. We uh, are the so there are only few characters on the monument, but the meaning it bears is very significant. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> The concrete line that crosses the yes, seven do. buildings in front of us is the military demarcation line. 50 centimeters wide and 10 centimeters high. But uh, owing to that small uh, military demarcation line, our nation is suffering the national division for over 70 years. <laughs> and also tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> public. And after the publication of that declaration, dialogues and negotiations of different channels and mutual visits and exchange and cooperation became more visible compared to the past days. So, for example, after that meeting, the first work we, we did was to arrange family reunion. You know, because of the military demarcation line, we have so many people you know, having their relatives you know, either in North Korea and South Korea. So after that meeting, as a humanitarian work, we arranged that family reunion in, in Pyongyang and, and Seoul. And you know, 63 unconverted long-term prisoners, they came back to, you know, 63 unconverted long-term prisoners, they were, they were all arrested during the Korean War time, and they were in prison of South Korea for nearly 40 years. And you know, after that meeting, the South Korean government, they released them, so they let them go back to Korea. And you know, several you know, ministerial talks were held you know, for boosting inter-Korean relations. And you know, in 2007, you know, next South Korean president, he also came here and met our you know, General Kim Jong Il. So you know, as you see, you know, from 2000 to 2007, you know, the relationship here was very good. You know, the relationship between North and South, you know, was very good. So at the time, you know, we built an industrial zone you know, in Gaesong City and also in in in, in the south in, a, in Gangwon province we have in a famous mountain which is called Mount Gumgang. So in Mount Gumgang you know we we north and south we built in a holiday resort. So at the, and also we accepted in you know, a South Korean tourist until in you know, 2009 and you know in 2008 you know there, there was a there was an election in South Korea and South Korean Conservative Party you know, came to power and traditionally uh, DPRK we you know we we, we have a you know, bad relationship with South Korean Conservative Party so after they came to power the first thing they did was to disregard all the agreements between the North and the South. And, you know, the worst thing they did, you know, 
they restarted military exercise with America, you know, which was stopped uh, for several years. And you know, when they had when they did military exercise, you know, they led their soldiers to use our latest pictures as a shooting target. So this is an insult to our people. So since that time, you know, the relationship between the North and the South became worse, and no more talks with South Korean government. And so from 2008 to 2017, the situation here was very tense. Everyone thought that another war would break out. So we threatened each other, we criticized each other. Each other. It was very horrible time, you know, for us. But you know, in, in 2018, you know, in news address of 2018, our government, you know, expressed expressed our will to improve the relationship between the North and the South again. So we we said that as a first work, you know, we would dispatch high level high level delegations to South Korea when South Korea hosted Winter Olympic Games. So we did that. So that, that, that was welcomed by South Korean government and since that time we exchanged you know, delegations and finally in, in April 2018 you know, we had summit talks and meeting in, in Panmunjom where we visited. So after the announcement